Welcome to my shop. My name is Guy. Today I'd like to talk to you about my new dust collector. It's Oneida Air Systems Dust Curl Portable with the Smart Boost technology. I'd like to talk a little bit about the Dust Curl Portable unit itself. Now mine is a three horsepower model. It's also available in a two horsepower model. It's fully mobile. It has a sturdy metal frame on casters. There's a handle in the front with a locking wheel. So you can move this around when you need to and also lock it down. It comes with a switch that has a remote control, which is pretty cool. And it also has a dust sensor built into it. And what that does is it has a sensor down here in the lid of the drum. And as the drum fills up with dust and it reaches a certain level, you'll get a visual notification of a blinking strobe to let you know that it's time to empty your drum. On the exhaust side of the system, there is a true HEPA filter. And it's 99.7% efficient at 0.3 microns. So very fine particles will get filtered out by this filter and there's very little chance of the harmful particles getting back into the air you're breathing in your shop. There's also a clean out at the bottom, so when you do need to clean the filter, there are locking nuts to loosen up to get the dust out. The filter also features wide space pleating and, are, and has a non-stick coating and that aids in cleaning when you blow the dust off the inside of the filter using compressed air from the outside. Now it does come with a 35 gallon drum and a drum liner. This allows you to place a bag inside the drum and when it's full, you just remove the bag and pop a new one in instead of trying to dump it out into a bag. And these clips here are easily removable to get at the bag. Let me show you how that works. And after the clips are off, this is on wheels also, so it just wheels right out. You can take the drum liner out, pull the bag out, put a new one in and you're ready to go. And to put it back, just position these clips back up to where they go, and it hooks right back on real easy. I'd also like to talk a little bit about the build quality of this, and I'm really, really impressed. It's all made out of heavy-duty steel and has a really nice powder-coated finish on it. It's all American-made, which supports domestic manufacturing, which I do like. And they also use a lean manufacturing method, which gives you faster delivery times. And if you'd like to check it out, I'll leave a link to Oneida's Instagram account down below, and it has some great pictures of these machines actually being built. Now the motors on these are also made by Baldor, which is another U.S. manufacturer. A very long lifetime, and easily maintained and serviced if need be. Now I'd like to talk about the Smart Dust Collector feature of this, or the Smart Boost technology. This is a real game changer and represents state-of-the-art technology in dust collection systems. Let me explain it to you and it'll make a lot more sense. Probably the easiest thing for me to do is to show you this in operation. Now when I turn it on, the first thing you'll notice is that it starts out very low and then ramps up to speed. It's actually going from 0 to 3450 RPM. What it's doing is it's sensing the amount of resistance or static pressure that's in the line. This is pretty cool. First of all, it helps protect the motor because when you have a conventional motor on a dust collector system, it just turns on and goes to speed real quick and you get this huge amperage spike. This has a nice gradual rise to it and uh, it, again, it helps protect the motor against frequent starts. So let me turn it on. You're going to hear that. I'm also going to put my hand over the end of the hose and as I increase the resistance or the static pressure on the end of that hose, you're going to hear the motor actually speed up. I hope you heard a difference there. As I added more static pressure resistance to the line, the motor sped up. Now that works on both sides of that motor, not only at the front end with the hose, but also on the back end. So as your filter gets dirtier, it's going to automatically compensate that and raise the speed up so you get the consistent airflow and air volume through the machine. Fixed RPM dust collectors cannot compensate for that difference in static pressure. 
Actually, in most cases, you have a four inch port on your machine, and that can result as much as 50% loss of volume through that port with a conventional dust collector. Static pressure on this machine is two to three times greater than a normal machine, which results in better pickup at the machine also. So I'm going to take this dust collector and compare it to another dust collector, and I'll be able to show you the difference in not only airflow, but also static pressure. Now this is the equipment I'm going to use to make these tests. This is by no means scientific high-end equipment, but it'll help me establish a baseline as long as I conduct the tests in the same way. The first is an anemometer, and this is going to help me measure the speed or the feet per minute or velocity coming out of the end of the uh, dust collector. The second is the manometer. Now this is going to measure the static pressure, and it measures water column in inches, or how much pressure is being applied to that airflow. I'm going to measure it in four inch, and I've also got this piece right here that I'm going to measure in two and a half inch. So these are my two dust collectors I have for the test. The one on the left is my Oneida Dust Grill Portable. This has the three horsepower motor in it, and it is a smart dust collector system. On the right, I've got the Powermatic. This is a one and a half horsepower. Both are 220 systems. Both have five inch hose inputs. Both are cyclones, and both have HEPA filtration on them. This should be interesting. Now here's the hose I'm going to use to make these tests. It's 17 feet long and it's a 5 inch hose. And on the end there's a 5 to 4 inch reducer and that's what I use to hook up to the machines. I'm going to make this test two ways. First of all with the hose completely straight like this. And then I'm going to run the test again with the hose curled up like this. And this is going to represent any twists, bends, turns you may have in the hose or your ducting while it's hooked up to the machine. Not in a perfectly straight line like it was before. So what do those numbers mean and, and why is it important? I really don't want to compare the CFM as an absolute value from a three horse to a horse and a half because that's really not fair. But what I do want to compare is the difference in drop from going from a straight to a curved hose. That's a big thing. Now when you look at the difference between the two, and like I said, when you have a curved hose, that could represent you know, a kink in the hose, if you have hard plumbing, you know, elbows wise, things like that. And also a difference in size of the hose going from, let's say, a, a five inch on the front of this down to a two and a half inch or a four inch. There's a big difference there. So let's take a look at the old dust collector. It went from a, a CFM of 473 to 387. Now that was about a 28% drop in cubic feet per minute going from straight to the curved hose. The biggest thing, there was a drop in static pressure of 33%. This gets better. So when I go to the new system with the smart dust collector, I went from 731 CFM to 723 CFM. Only a difference of about 2%. Now the static pressure went from 9.4 to 9.6. The static pressure actually went up two percent so what does that mean that means there was a very even level of not only the, the the flow of air from the system but also the static pressure so let's take a look what happened when we went down to the two and a half inch hose now on both systems the air velocity went up and that has to do with the amount of uh, air moving through it and the cross section of the size of the hose so those numbers on the velocity side are going to be greatly inflated but on the CFM they're actually going to drop now on the old system I went from 55 to 8500 velocity but that actually went from 473 down to 298 CFM that was a drop of about 37 percent not too bad the static pressure went from 5 to 8.6, which is an increase of about 56%. Now on the new system, unfortunately I wasn't able to measure the uh, velocity coming through the hose on the, the 2.5 inch. My anemometer is cheap, it only goes up to 9,000, and uh, it just went off the scale. So I don't know what that number is, but I'm sure it's 
it's pretty good. The big thing is that my static pressure went on the old system to 9.4 to 21. That's more than twice the amount of static pressure. And as I said before, as the static pressure rises, so does the uh, RPM of the impeller itself to compensate for that. So I'm sure there's a very even amount of air moving through that from the four inch down to two and a half inch. Now this is huge. It may not seem like a big thing, but uh, let me give you an example. I use my, my dust collector hook up to my CNC machine. That's only got a two and a half inch hose. My DeWalt thickness planer that's over there out of camera right now, even though it's got a four inch port on the back, it's actually only a two and a half inch port. It's a four inch fitting, but a two and a half inch port. I know this, and just from practical use, does a lot better with that, that planer than my old machine does. So with all that said and done, the bottom line is this. The United Dust Collection Systems with the Smart Boost technology has a lot of advantages. First of all, there's less drop in CFM at the machine because of size of the hose, number of bends and 90s and Ys and things like that in your dust collection system, uh, the size of the port on the machine, and also how dirty the cartridge filter is. Again, a complete game changer. If you're looking for a new dust collector, I highly recommend you take a look at the United Air Systems with the Smart Boost technology. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.